Oh, you gotta love Elvis. And soft drinks. Obviously, also love Elvis. And uh, we love them. Why? Well, I think it is because of all the sugar that they contain. They are sweet. How sweet? Let's take a look. Science is all about numbers, isn't it? We're always measuring things, weighing things, counting things. So if we take a look at these subjects, and I'm not picking on Coke, I mean, just that, you know, it's the most popular one in the world, it's a good representative. How much sugar? Let's take a look. I got my balance here, and I have weight on here about 40 grams, which is about the amount of sugar that is in here. How much sugar is that? Well, let's take a look. Two cubes, three cubes, four cubes, five cubes, six cubes, seven cubes, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cubes of sugar in here. That is a lot. It's close to 40 grams, which is about the amount that we should be taking in every day. And of course, there are a lot of people who consume several of these drinks every day. That is a lot of sugar. Well, what do we do about that? Some countries have decided to tax the soft drinks. Chile and Mexico have had some success. They put a tax on there and sales go down. That's one way of trying to put the squeeze on the business, right? But a lot of people object to that. They want to do taxation. They say that, you know, we're dealing with a nanny state and we don't want that. So there are other ways that people are thinking about uh, controlling the amount of sugar that we take in. And uh, one notion is to put a warning, like a, a label, for example, a red label on uh, bottles of soft drinks, alerting people to the fact that there's a lot of sugar in there. Well, one has to be careful with that too. Why? Because numbers, 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 that's what matters in science. And yes, there is a lot of sugar in there. But what about something like uh, chocolate? You know what? I like to have a little bit of a dessert and every night have one of these uh, Ferrero chocolates. That's about five grams of sugar. Should that have a warning on there? Not at all. Because five grams, well, that fits very nicely into, into a diet. That's a long way from the 40 grams of added sugar. So I don't look at soft drinks and chocolates the same way in terms of needing some sort of alarm for the consumer. Yeah, I think the soft drinks merit that because they don't bring anything extra in terms of nutrition to, to our life. We can certainly do well cutting down on them. Now, there are a lot of people who suggest that, well, we shouldn't really be just cutting down on those soft drinks. What we should be doing is uh, basically just making them vanish. Well, I don't think that that's going to work either. It's not going to work economically, sociologically, or politically. But I think it is possible to cut down on them. It's possible to take those soft drinks and uh, just consume less. We don't need all of that. Just a little bit. But who drinks just a little bit? Nobody drinks only that much. That's the problem. That's why a warning there is appropriate. However, a warning here, no because I'm quite happy in eating only this. I don't need to eat two, I don't need to eat three. So numbers, numbers, numbers matter in science. Five grams of sugar, no problem. 40 grams of sugar, big problem.